Hi friends. Welcome back to SQL DBA classes. Okay, today we'll discuss uh, how to install latest version of Management Studio in your laptop or in your server. Okay, so let's download this. First, I'll show you how to download it, and then I'll show you how to install latest Management Studio in your laptop or in your server. Okay, so let's download. Okay, go to Google. Okay, so we'll download the latest version of SSMS. Um, just to type download SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, just type like this. You can see okay the first result from the Microsoft website. Just open this one. It will be opened in the new tab. Just go down. You can see download SSMS. Okay, download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS 18.9.2. This is the latest version. Okay. Download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS 18.9.2. Just click on it. It will start download. Okay. So right, let it download. It is downloading. The file is started downloading. Let it download. Okay. So I'm going to pause the recording. Right. Right. So once you just download the SSMS, you can see it will be download to the your uh, downloads. Okay. So you can see this is the files SSMS setup file. If you want, you can just copy this file to server. If you want to install SSMS in your server, copy this file to server, okay, Windows server. If you want to install in your local laptop, just you can you can right click run as admin. You can just right click on the file. You can choose run as admin. So it will allow you to install the program in your machine, okay? So I'm going to reach to, I'm sorry. I'm going to install this SQL Server Management Studio in the Windows server. So I have already opened Windows server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this management studio file to my Windows server. Okay, so I connected through RDP, right? So I can easily copy paste, right click, copy, right click, paste to the server. Okay, so in this way, I can copy the file to the server. Once it was successfully copied, then we can go for installation. Right. right once the file is successfully copied to the server okay what you can do is right click on it choose run as administrator always try to choose run as administrator it's best practice in case of any issues small small issues and all you can fix with the help of this option run as administrator so you can see there is an option called install button so this is the latest version 18.9.2 so what you can do is to install ssms just click on install button that's it it may take 15 to 20 minutes again depends upon the server speed and all okay so usually it will take 15 minutes to 20 minutes okay after uh, installation of this Miami studio it may prompt you to restart the server or laptop you can you can restart the server or laptop again the same process we are going to follow if you want to install this management studio in your laptop simply download the file if you want to install in your laptop right click choose install button Okay, right click run as administrator, you will get this kind of window, then just choose install button so that it is going to be installed. Depends upon the machine speed and all, it will take 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, thank you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Right, you can see here, once management studio is successfully installed, you can see it is asking for restart. Just go for a restart, okay, so that you can, okay, um, like access your machine and all. Otherwise, okay, sometimes if you open SSMS also, if you close it and if you directly open SSMS, sometimes it may ask you to prompt, okay, it may ask you to restart the machine and all. Okay, you can see here Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio or just hit Windows button, okay, just type SSMS. Okay, so in this way also you can found. Okay, so if it is not showing here, just type SSMS, it just type SS. Okay, so 
the shortcut is like earlier the shortcut is ssms windows or ssms but for new versions the, this shortcut is not going to work ssms shortcut is not going to work so in all these cases if you are unable to get with the ss or ssms go to your start okay okay if you go down there you can see folders there you can see in <coughs> microsoft sql server tools 18 right just click on tools sql server 2000 sql server tools 18 right just click on this you can see microsoft sql server management studio just click on it to open okay so in this way you can open the management studio And you can see the version is running on 18.9.2. So once it was open, then I'll show you. Then we are going to close this uh, video. So once it was opened, you can see like this. Okay. So manager should is open. Then you can see you have to give the server name based on the authentication either windows or sql server authentication okay you can choose the authentication and you can click connect okay if server is already there you can connect to the server okay if sql server server means if sql server is already installed in your machine then by using this ssms you can connect to the existing sql server instances okay if there is no sql server you can still install SSMS, okay? But if there is no SQL Server, you cannot connect to SQL Server, right? So that's it, guys. This is how we are going to install, download and install the Management Studio, okay? So please support me. I am going to create a lot of videos. I am going to upload a lot of videos like this. I need your support. Please subscribe to my channel for latest videos and all. So we'll discuss a lot of things, a lot of new features how to do everything, how to install, how to set up everything related to the SQL Server. I'm going to upload a lot of videos. Okay. Thank you all.